Cartesian product. So Cartesian product is named so. It's named Cartesian in honor of René Descartes, who was a famous mathematician and philosopher. Given two sets A and B, the Cartesian product or cross product denoted by A cross B. Okay, so you read this as A cross B. You don't read it as A times B. It is the set of all ordered pairs x, y such that x is an element of A and y is an element of B. So you're familiar with this symbol. Okay, so you always see this as the coordinates of a point. And in fact, the Cartesian product will give way to your rectangular coordinate system. So the mathematical sentence that is equivalent to this statement is A cross B is equal to x, y. That's a pair of elements, first coordinate, second coordinate, such that x, or the first coordinate, came from A, and y, you call that the second coordinate, came from set B. So that your Cartesian product gives way to your rectangular coordinate system. This is the cross product that, that is behind your rectangular coordinate system. So you are pairing the set of real numbers with itself r cross r. So it is the set of all ordered pairs x, y. x now is a real number and so with y, such that x is a real number and y is a real number. So you're familiar with this. This is your rectangular coordinate system. And that is your real number line. You will cross it or you will pair it also with itself, but you will align it vertically so that we can visually show the elements that are contained in your R cross R. So this point, for example, is an element of R cross R. And its coordinates is 2, 1. So 2 is the X coordinate and or the first coordinate and 1 is your second coordinate. The elements of a Cartesian product come in pairs. Okay, so one element comes in pairs, X, Y. X is what you call your first coordinate, and Y is the second coordinate. So R cross R is a cross product between R and itself. Visually, we can look at R cross R as the set of all points in your rectangular coordinate system. So if this is your rectangular coordinate system, all points here on your plane corresponds to the set of elements that is contained in R cross R. Example 1.20 form the cross product A cross B. Okay, so let's say for example A is me. You know, A and B doesn't have to be always numbers. It can be A can be the set containing me, or B is the set containing my shoes, leather shoes, rubber shoes. Let us form A cross B. So it can be this or this. So the elements are this one. You can imagine this as you choosing one shoe when you go to the school. So you can go to the school or I can go to the school with my leather shoes or I can go to the school with my rubber shoes. So A cross B, we can show it visually as pairing. So in one set, we have the set containing me. And the other would be my collection of shoes. And so the pairing goes this way. Example 1.22. Form the graph. We have A is equal to 1, 2, 3. And B is the set containing 3, 4. Let us form A cross B. Okay, so you will list down all pairing. All pairing wherein the first coordinate came from or comes from A, the second comes from set B. So it's going to be 1, 3, or 1, 3, 1, 4, 2, 3, 2, 4, 3, 3, 3, 4. And we can plot those, we can plot these elements. So we can plot these elements in your, in your plane. And this is how they will appear. How about B cross A? Okay, so the first, the first coordinates must come from B and the second must come from A. 
So let us write down all possible pairing. So, 3, 1, 3, 2, 3, 3, 4, 1, 4, 2, 4, 3. And let us plot that in our plane. So this is your B cross A. So this is the graph of your B cross A. Evidently, they are not the same. They are not identical, which goes to show that Cartesian product is not commutative. Okay, so A cross B is not necessarily equal to B cross A.